Today's segment on Family Jewels is Don't Wait for the Funeral. You know, I get sick and tired of talking to people all the time and they talk about their loved one or their family member laid up in the hospital or their family member just died and they didn't get to make amends and they didn't get to do it. And we always go through this in and out and say, you know what, family needs to stick together, family needs to do this, family needs to do that, but are you really doing it? You talk about it at the funeral, you talk about it when it's in death and when somebody's sick, but what about when everybody's well? Nobody's doing shit. It's time to take care of our families when they're alive and well. Stop letting petty little differences, petty little arguments consume you. Too many times we let little petty arguments divide us. Start treating people with respect and honor the way you want to be treated. What you put out there is what you get back. Start being what you expect. That's the problem. People are not being what they expect, but they set high expectations for their loved ones. See, I don't really get moved by anything. Everybody wonder how, how you got 25 kids and how you deal with this and how you deal with that. It's because I have a model. Anything that I can't change, I don't let consume me. Things that I can change is only myself and how I deal with different things or how I let different things affect me. And that's how I get by. That reduces my stress level. As far as family, family is important. Let's start taking care of each other while we're alive. Let's start reaching out. It only takes a second to make a phone call. We know we say the phone works both ways. This person ain't calling me. Why well, I got to call them? Well, somebody got to be the bigger person. Somebody got to start it. Why not you? Stop asking why me and start asking why not me. Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Instead of setting the expectations on somebody else. Because what you, what you get in the end is what you reap is what you sow. So if you sow good seeds, you get good in return. You sow bad seeds, <laughs> that's what you get in return. I'm a blessed person because I always put positivity out there. Do I have my moments? Yes, we all do. But what do you do in that moment? I'm learning now in the heat of the moment to catch myself. And you can too. Be what you expect. We gotta lift each other up. We always talking about what they doing to us, how they killing us as black people, as people as a whole. But we're killing each other. We got people right here that we haven't spoken to in five, 10, 15 years because of a petty argument. Then at the funeral, you wanna be crying, laid up, jumping on the casket, trying to go with them. When you ain't know, you ain't give a damn about them when they was here. Cause if you did, you would have reached out. So stop fronting. Y'all wildin' for real. I know I got on the wild out shirt, but y'all wildin' for real, acting like you care when you really don't, because if you care, you will help while they're here. Everybody used to say, um, damn, Mike, you always doing this for people, you always doing that for people. It's because I genuinely care. I open my doors to everybody. I cook dinner, I cook a big meal, and I'm feeding 25, and I still feed the neighborhood. But you got family members that's starving that you won't even get $5 to. You'll say, I ain't got it. And got a pocket full of money. Sometimes I don't have it. It'd be my last $5. And I'll give it up to make sure a stranger eat. But you won't make sure family eat. We got to do better.